hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video we are going to learn about importing opportunities via the salesforce data loader so first let me tell you why it is important to use the data loader for importing opportunities in salesforce org so in salesforce crm we have a facility to maintain opportunities that allow organizations to track potential revenue generating interactions with clients and the data loader have a capability to handle the data operations like insert export update and delete the data in bulk so in the same way the data loader can import opportunities with ensured data accuracy and due to its efficiency in bulk data processing it is beneficial to use data loader when you have to import the opportunities in bulk and it also saves a lot of time of the user that instead of creating those opportunity manually we can automate the process of the creation of opportunity with the help of data loader so in order to import and create opportunities via data loader make sure that you have installed the data loader tool in your system and have required access to update and change the opportunity data so let's move ahead and see the process of importing opportunities via the salesforce data loader so in order to import the opportunities we have to create a csv file with the header columns account id close date name owner id and stage so in this csv file you can see these five header columns account id account id close date name owner id and stage so we have to manually enter the fields close date name and stage so in the close date you have to enter the close date of the opportunities that you are, that you are going to import so make sure that you enter the date in the month date and year format so now i have entered the close date for the opportunities that i am going to import and now i will enter the name of the opportunities in the name column so now i have entered the close date name and the stage of the opportunities and make sure that you enter the close date in the month date and the year format otherwise it will give you error while importing these opportunities from data loader so in the column account id we need to get the id of the account in which we are importing these opportunities and to get the account id go to the salesforce console and from the app launcher search and select accounts and now in the account setup window select the account in which you are going to import the opportunities so i will select this account express logistics and after opening the account go to the url and copy the 15 digit code starting from 00 and then again open the csv file and here enter the account id and keep it same for all the opportunities if you want to import all of this opportunity into single account and if you want to assign this opportunity to the mass accounts then you can run an export from the data loader what you can do is open the data loader click on the export button uh, select the object data account and select the location where you want to save the file that will extract the account details and then click on the next button and now in this step select the query field id and name field for reference and then click on the finish button as we click on the finish button the files will be extracted with the account id and account name and you can view this extraction in a csv file and from here you can see the ids of different accounts and if you want to assign this opportunity to different account then from here you can get the ids of all those different accounts and then copy paste this id in the csv file that we are creating so till now we have entered the account id close date name and stage for the opportunities and now to get the owner id we will repeat again the same process so now to get the owner id we will run an export for the user data object and for that again open the data loader click on the export button and in this step select the data object users and then select the location for the extract file then click on the next button and in this step select the query fields id and then select the name field for reference and after this click on the finish button so now you can see that data is successfully extracted here click on this view extraction and now you will be able to see the extracted data in the csv file and from here you can get the id of the owner to which you want to assign these opportunities so in this example i am assigning these opportunities to a single owner and you can also assign this opportunity to multiple owners so now the csv file is complete and now you can save the csv file in your system from where it can be accessible to the data loader so after saving the csv file again open the data loader 
and here click on this ok button to close the previous data operations and in the data loader click on this insert button and in this step activate the checkbox show all salesforce object then search and select opportunity data object and in this step select the csv file that we have created right now and after selecting the csv file click on the next button and as we click on the next button the data loader will initialize the csv file and, and display the number of rows in the csv file and also the batch size of the data operation here click on the ok button to proceed and in this step we will create the mapping between the object fields and the csv column headers and for that click on this create or edit a map and in the next window click on this button auto match fields to column so as we click on this the field names will be auto matched to the name of csv column headers and in case the object fields are not auto matched to the column mapping then you have to drag down the salesforce object fields down to the column mapping and after the mapping click on this ok button and then click on the next button and in this step we have to select the location for the error and success files in our system that from where it can be accessed later and at last click on the finish button and as we click on the finish button we can see a warning message regarding the data insert operation and here click on the yes button to proceed and so now the data insertion will start so now after the completion of the operation we, we can see a message of successful data insertion in a dialog box and it is showing five successful insert with zero errors and you can also view the status of data operation from this view success button and here you can see the status as item is created to view the opportunities that we have created right now i will go back to my salesforce console and from the app launcher i will go to the opportunities and i will change the list view to the new this week so these are the opportunities that we have imported from the csv file right now so this is how we import opportunities with the help of salesforce data loader so this is how we import opportunities in salesforce with the help of data loader and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.